Hey guys, how's it going? Otaku Mike here, back again with another video for you guys today. Um, we're going to do a little bit of manga shopping today, because i got a little free time on my hands. So we're going to go hit up uh, Barnes & Noble and then uh, Half Price Books, and let's see what kind of cool manga we can find. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll take you guys with me. Do, 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 do. Just walking along in my Half Price Books. We got a lot of really cool stuff in here, just saying. Um, a lot of stuff I really didn't care about. But uh, the manga... The manga selection was something else in this here, in this here store. Oh, look, there's not Batman, Holy Terror. Ooh, the Adventure Zone. Uh, you gotta love Frank Miller's Holy, Holy Terror, right? No, we don't love Frank Miller. Frank Miller's kind of bad now. Uh, but they had a really decent selection of graphic novels here. Um, a lot of really good indie stuff, and sometimes you can find some really cool, uh, stuff here, uh, comic book-wise. Um, but, let's move on to the manga. So, the manga was a little hit or miss, got some 12 Beast up there. Um, some manga I never really heard about. The Surface to, the Circus to Freak manga right there, I was kind of curious about, um, I didn't end up picking it up because it was a library edition. Um, I never heard of it before, but, you know, it looks kind of cool. And then there was uh, this other manga right here. Uh, this anim Amnesia manga. That looked kind of cool. That was an old Seven Seas book right there. And then there's this manga. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there's Howling Moon right there, volume two. I totally forgot about this series. But, yeah, you know, it is what it is, you know. But the manga section was very, very sparse. All right, so we're back. Sadly, uh, my half price books kind of sucked. Uh, the manga selection has been kind of pretty barren ever since the pandemic happened. The manga selection has been pretty, like, pretty, like, not good. But, um... I went and looked through the graphic novels, comic books. Uh, I didn't leave empty-handed. Uh, my half price usually has pretty good indie selection of graphic novels and stuff. So I picked up um, volume two of uh, The Adventure Zone, uh, Murder on the Rockport Express. This is a fun series, fun adventure series, D&D-esque. Uh, these guys took their podcast their actual play podcast, D&D &D podcast, The Adventure Zone, and turned it into a graphic novel series. This is the second volume in the series, and it's a whole one and done kind of story Then leads on to the next story. I've talked about this series some on my channel. Somebody's actually looking at me right now recording my video. It's a little weird, um, but yeah, um, this is what I got. So uh, next, let's go to Barnes & Noble, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be better. it'll be better. It'll probably be better, honestly, because uh, parts of the, the half price books kind of sucked at the moment. Not gonna lie. All right, so we're in the Barnes and Noble. Uh, my Barnes and Noble is okay. It's not too bad. Sometimes I find some really cool stuff, but there's a lot of interesting, really cool stuff like Chobits. I want to get that Chobits eventually. And yeah, I was just looking for some new manga to see exactly what I could find to um, try out. This manga I actually really wanted to try out. Um, the drugstore in, in another world. That looks kind of fun. I don't know. That's maybe a maybe buy. Who knows. But lots of Demon Slayer. Death Note right there. New Fist of the North Star. Too bad I already pre-ordered my copy. Um, but I'm excited to actually get to read that. Some Fruit Basket. You gotta love all the classics like Full Metal Alchemist. Don't forget to get your uh, Goblin Slayer. But don't. Don't buy the um, spinoffs. The spinoffs kind of suck, in my opinion. Ooh, shove and the Invincible Shovel. I was a little excited for that one, but then I was like, oh, wait, it's a light novel. The manga has not come out for the Invincible Shovel yet, sadly. Some JoJo's down there. Yeah, it was, it was a decent selection this time. Uh, some things hit or miss that I want to check out. Uh, there's a... Uh, uh, I totally blanked on what that was. Um, 
yeah, the Zelda. I'm actually kind of interested interested in the Zelda one. There's the girl without a face. You know, really nice selection of titles. You know, you, you can't go really wrong with that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I found a lot of really cool stuff. I didn't even know the new Shaman King came out. I'm kind of interested in the Shaman King. I kind of go back and forth on whether or not I want to buy the omnibuses or not. Uh, I don't really know at the moment. You know, I'm kind of on the fence about that. But yeah, there was this one manga I found, and I was like, what is this manga? It was called, like, what was it? Is it, is it called World Peace? Has anybody ever heard of this manga called World Peace? If you heard about it, let me know. Because I have never heard of this manga. Is it new? Is it old? All right, so we're done with our Barnes & Noble manga shopping thingy. Um... How do people do this? Like, this is my first manga shopping vlog. How do people, like, film out in public? It's such a hard thing to do. There were people everywhere. Everywhere. It was hard to film in there. So I hope I got some good footage for you guys. Um, but Barnes & Noble's okay. Um, honestly, uh, living in a small town, it's kind of hard to find manga that I want uh, but they have a decent selection at the Barnes & Noble uh, I did pick up a few things uh, from their titles that I actually wanted what the fuck why why are you people I guess people don't like it when you film in your car uh, people are looking at me right now weird right over right over there um, but first I picked up uh, Spy X Family Volume 5. I didn't even know this came out, which very, very surprised that this I found out that this came out. So I picked that up, and then I picked up uh, uh, my Dress Up Darling uh, Volume uh, what's this? Volume 4 right here. You know it's good. You know it's good when it's wrapped up in plastic, right? Uh, you gotta know a manga is good when it's wrapped up in plastic. But yeah, there were a lot of cool new stuff that I saw there. Uh, cool new mangas and stuff that I never heard of. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys were entertained somewhat for this manga vlog uh, thing. I'm not. This is my first vlog, so uh, for manga. Um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, you like the content that I create, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing the video. Uh, thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in, in the next video.